Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to share seven uncommon Excel shortcuts that you can share with your coworkers. Now in this video I will be using Excel for Windows, however I will also share the Mac equivalents for all of these shortcuts. The first shortcut is Alt Down Arrow. If you're on the Mac this will be Option Down Arrow. Now this shortcut has a ton of uses in Excel for opening options menus. Uh, first of all, if you have the filters turned on and you select a cell in the header row, holding down the Alt key and pressing down arrow will open the filter drop down menu. And of course you can hit escape to get out of that. If your cells contain data validation lists like this cell does here, typically we have to click this button with the mouse to see that drop down list. However, you can also use Alt down arrow here to open that list. Then you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to select items and hit enter to input that item in a cell. Now, if your cells do not have data validation lists and you have a list of data like this, you can also use Alt down arrow to show a autofill list. And this is the list of all the unique items in this column here. And so this is a quick way to do data entry. Again, you can select one of these items and that will input it into the cell. Another place we can use Alt down arrow is when writing formulas. So in this cell here, I have the weekday function. And the second argument for the weekday function is the return type. And there's a lot of different options here. And once you type one in, you might not see those options again. But as long as you put your text cursor there in the argument, you can then use Alt down arrow to see that list of options. So now, of course, we can select from here and input one of these other options. So like I said, Alt down arrow has a ton of uses. Anytime you have a drop down menu in Excel or anything like that, try Alt down arrow to then be able to select from those lists. The next shortcut is F4 to repeat the last action. If you're on the Mac, this will be Command Y. So let's say I want to apply some formatting to some cells in this column, and I'll just apply a yellow fill color to this cell right now. Now if I also want to apply it to this cell, I can use the F4 key on the keyboard, just hit F4, and that'll repeat my last action. So I'll go down to this cell, hit F4 again, maybe I want to highlight this cell, and hit F4. And this works for all types of formatting. You can use this for number formatting, font and fill colors. You can even use this to insert shapes and just repeat the last action that you took in Excel. The next shortcut is Control Shift Down Arrow to select all the U cells in a column. And it's the same shortcut on the Mac. So let's say you want to select all these cells in the column here. Now, if we try and do that with the mouse, that can take a long time to uh, click and hold and drag all the way down, especially if the column has thousands of cells in it. So one thing we can do, if we go back up to the top here, is just select the first cell, then hold the control and shift keys and press the down arrow. And that will select all the way down to the last used cell here in this column. And this also works when you're writing formulas and creating references to ranges. And I'm gonna hit control up arrow to go back to the top. Now one place this doesn't work is when your column contains blanks. So this phone number column here does have some blank cells in it. And if I select this cell and then hit control shift down arrow, that's just going to select all the way down to the last non-blank cell. So right before the next blank cell. Now I have a whole nother video that explains ways to get around this and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. One quick shortcut here, especially for mouse users, it's just, is to just select the first cell here, then uh, scroll all the way down here. It's much faster to scroll with the scroll button here, hold shift, and then select the last cell in that column. The next shortcut is copying a sheet with the control key. If you're on the Mac, you'll use the option button for this. And I'm just going to select a sheet that I want to make a duplicate copy of. I'm going to left click and hold and then drag it to the right until that little down arrow goes to the right of the current tab. Then I'm going to hold the control key on the keyboard. You'll see that little plus symbol come up in the icon there and I'll release the left mouse button. And that'll make a duplicate copy of the sheet. You can also do this when multiple sheets are selected. So I'll uh, hold shift and select two sheets. And again, I'm just gonna select and hold, drag to the right, all the way out to the right of my selection there, hold the control key, release the left mouse button, and that'll make duplicate copies. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to it, but once you do, you'll have this down and be copying sheets much, much faster than going through the right click menu. Next, we'll look at navigating sheets with control page up or page down. If you're on the Mac, this will be function command up arrow or function command down arrow. 
So I'm on this sheet here. If I want to go to the previous sheet, I just hold down the control key and press page up on the keyboard and that'll take me to the previous sheet. I can continue to do that then I can use control page down to go to the next sheet. So when you're buying a laptop or a keyboard, make sure it has page up and page down buttons on it. And I do have an article on the best keyboards for Excel keyboard shortcuts. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. The next shortcut is control semicolon to enter today's date. So just select any blank cell where you want to enter the date, hold down the control key on the keyboard and then press the semicolon. That will put the cell in edit mode here and input the date, and then you can hit enter to confirm that change. Now the shortcut is the same on the Mac. However, I noticed on the Mac that I first had to double click into the cell or hit F2 and then press control semicolon to input the date. So it might not be the case for you, but if it's not working the first time, try and uh, double click into the cell first, then use control semicolon. And then one quick bonus tip there, control shift semicolon will enter the current time. So if you want to put the date and time in the cell, first do control semicolon for the date, then type a space and then control shift semicolon for the current time. And the shortcut on the Mac for that is option semicolon. So now you can see what I'm doing on a Friday afternoon. And then of course you hit enter there to input that. Now if you don't see the time here in the cell, that's due to the number formatting that's applied to the cell. You will see the time up here in the formula bar and then of course you can go change the number formatting to use one that displays the date and the time. The next shortcut is alt equal sign for auto sum. If you're on the Mac this will be option shift T. So if I want to make a sum formula for this column here, the first thing I'm going to do is just jump down to the bottom, control down arrow to get to the last cell. And let's say I want to sum up all of these and put a formula right here that sums up all of the cells in that column. I'm just going to hold the uh, alt key and then press the equal key on the keyboard. And that's automatically going to create the entire formula for me, including the reference to all of the used cells in the range above. I'll just go ahead and hit enter and we'll get the result of our formula right there. There's also an auto sum button on the home tab of the ribbon right here. If you hover that button, you can see the shortcut there as well, alt equal sign. So that's seven uncommon shortcuts that will save you time when working in Excel. If you already knew all of those, uh, definitely feel free to share these with your coworkers, teach them to them or forward them this video. They will learn a lot and probably also want to give you a high five or a fist bump. Now, of course, I couldn't cover all shortcuts in this video. There are literally hundreds of shortcuts in Excel. So please leave a comment below with some of your favorite shortcuts or one that you learned today that you're definitely going to use now that you know it. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.